Hello and welcome back to Nathan Bell's podcast. Be sure to like, subscribe and share with your friends. Today, Nate would like to talk about North Korea fighting in Ukraine. Right, today I'm going to talk about these reports that North Korea has sent soldiers to help Russia fight in the Ukraine. Um, Over the last few weeks I've read about this from a number of sources. When it started coming out, the sources I was getting it from were sources that I thought weren't very reliable or trustworthy, but now it's coming from credible sources. Today I was reading about this on the um, ABC's website and I've got that article in front of me and I may refer to that article (coughs) throughout this talk. Um, But yeah, uh, numerous uh, sources have claimed that North Korea has sent soldiers to fight in the Ukraine. Now these claims are unconfirmed at this stage but they're close to being confirmed uh, and and the south korean security organization has made the claim that north korea has sent 3,000 troops to russia to be trained and acclimatized for potential deployment in ukraine um, and the ukrainian president has made the further claim that um, north korea has promised 10,000 soldiers to russia to fight in the Ukraine Uh, and the Americans have come out and made a number of remarks about this as well. Um, The Americans have said that if it is true in fact that North Korea is sending troops to help Russia fight in the Ukraine it would mark a a, a disturbing and concerning um, escalation in the Ukrainian conflict. Um, I worry that this sort of thing will lead to a more global conflict as you know if another uh, nation is joining in to ally with Russia in this conflict um, that could escalate the war and that sort of takes it to a level where it's becoming more of a global conflict Uh, the French president Emmanuel Macron has said numerous times over the last year or so that he has considered deploying French troops into the Ukraine to support the Ukrainians and my concern is if the North Koreans are in fact deploying soldiers into the Ukraine that that will spur the French president along to deploy French soldiers into the Ukraine and then it sort of moves from being a proxy war into more of an open conflict between different nations between the NATO allies and the Ru- and Russia and their allies uh, and then obviously the concern would be that it would continue to escalate uh, and that a larger scale war would break out in Europe and that that, that could lead un, um, to a nuclear conflict and let's hope that that doesn't happen. Um, but, you know, reports have said that North Korean soldiers are not very effective, that they're not trained in modern warfare, that they don't have modern equipment um, and that they don't have battle experience. Um, so I wonder whether they'll just be slaughtered. I mean, the Ukrainians have shown that they're excellent fighters at this stage. They fended off the Russians for a few years now and, and the, the Ukraine is in some sense winning this war. Uh, And this also shows that Putin is becoming desperate uh, because his own soldiers and his own fighters from his nation haven't been effective. Um, But we know um, that Russia and North Korea have signed a mutual defence military pact (coughs) where they promise to support each other in military conflicts and if if one nation is invaded. And some people are concerned what price uh, North Korea expects from Russia in return for this military support. Uh, And I think I read that South Korean intelligence is concerned that North Korea expects uh, sophisticated nuclear weapons technology and military technology uh, as payment uh, for offering their support to the Russians. Uh, And we don't know what the Russians will give the North Koreans as payment for this um, support in their war. But as I said, it's not confirmed yet completely that these North Korean troops have been sent to Russia for training. Um, There is some evidence that they've been sent to Russia for training and acclimatization, but there's not even any confirmed certainty if they have been sent, what they've been sent for and where they will go and whether or not they will be deployed 
into the Ukraine to fight. Um, so we just don't know at this stage, but it would be a concerning development and it would show that another nation had become involved in the war and it would escalate the war to another level. Uh, and as I said, my concern is that then France will join in because Emmanuel Macron has made it clear already that he's consi considered sending troops in to fight alongside the Ukrainians. So if the French go in, then who goes in next? Then someone else goes in, then someone else goes in. Then all of a sudden it's this big war between NATO and Russia and all of Russia's allies. Um, I was reading today that Kevin Rudd has pressured Beijing um, to pressure uh, North Korea to cease and desist immediately with their involvement um, in the Ukraine war. Um, so it's all very concerning and... and um, and, you know, let's hope it doesn't get out of hand and let's hope we don't end up with a big war in Europe or um, which could lead to World War Three and a nuclear war. Another interesting report I read or statement that I read is that apparently from what I've read, North Korea hasn't told its general population uh, that they've sent these troops um, and that the North Korean government has been relocating the families of the troops that they've sent to keep them silent so that they don't tell the rest of the population of North Korea about this because North Korea doesn't want, it seems North Korea doesn't want their population to know that they are supporting Russia in this war. Um, yeah, so we're seeing another escalation in this conflict which is pushing this towards becoming a global war. I'm more concerned about this escalating than I am the conflict in the Middle East. The conflict in the Middle East is concerning, but I don't think that that will escalate to a nuclear war or a global war. This needs developments with North Korea joining in on the Ukrainian battlefront um, have more likelihood of leading to a global war, which could lead to an atomic war, and that would be scary because we definitely don't want that to happen because that will spell the end of humanity. Um, so yeah, we'll watch as this unfolds over the coming weeks and we learn more about whether these, uh, whether we can confirm that North Korea has troops uh, in the Ukraine uh, and, and we'll find out what we find out over the coming weeks. So stay tuned on the issue. It's an important issue, so keep an eye on developments. So there's a bit of my thoughts about the rumours that North Korea is joining in on the Ukrainian war to support the Russians. So drop a comment in the comment section what you think about that.